Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested, and today I want to introduce you to the Carvey. Uh, this is a desktop CNC machine. It's a, a milling machine. Now, we've covered a ton of 3D printers on Tested over the years, and 3D printing, as you know, is an additive process. You are melting materials and building up, designing something on a computer, and then turning bits into atoms. And uh, a milling machine, a CNC milling machine, is similar to that, except it's a subtractive process. You're still designing something digitally, sending code to a machine, and then taking material away, in this case, from all sorts of materials. Now, we've seen a bunch of CNC machines. There are multiple access ones. There are big ones, small ones. Uh, what's interesting about Carvey, which is made by a company called Inventables, is that they've designed it to be very simple and safe to use. Inventables also makes the X-Carve uh, CNC router, uh, which a lot of our readers out there, viewers out there, like using, prop builders love using. It's a great machine to put in your garage, but the Carvey really emphasizes simplicity and safety. Now, it achieves both simplicity and safety uh, through software and the design of the enclosure system, and we'll get to that in, in just a bit. Uh, but I wanted to show you basically how this machine works and what you can do with it. If you look inside the machine, there's basically um, a platform here allowing you to uh, cut material. Uh, you can think of that as the equivalent of like the build platform on a 3D printer. Uh, the size of that platform, here it's not configurable, um, determines how big of a material you can put in here. And in the Carvey, it's about eight inches by 12 inches. So a material about this big, like eight and a half sheet, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Now you don't, also, you don't always get exactly eight by 12 with the Carvey because you actually have to clamp the material and so the placement of the clamps takes away from some ability to get closer to the edges. And then on the Z-axis, you have about 2 and 2.75 inches of Z-depth. Now that also depends on the material you're using and also the bits you have put in the machine. Now the materials and bits, uh, those are also important parts for the milling machine. Uh, Carvey uh, has a whole selection of bits that Inventable sells, and what they've done really smartly is they've made it easy to use by color coding them. You buy these, are about $10 each, or you can buy a slim in sets, engraving sets, uh, basic sets, um, which range from your standard 1 8th inch or 1 16th inch fish, uh, fishtail bit all the way to your uh, ball and bits, which you can do, do smoother, smoother cuts. Um, they're all color coded, which makes it simple for then for you to use the software and then tell the machine which bit you're using, so you're not using wrong bits for wrong materials. And the materials you can cut things like aluminum, wood, MDF, or one of my favorites, a uh, two color polyethylene, high density polyethylene, which lets you make cool things like signs or puzzles. All of these materials you see here are actually were provided by Inventables, and a big part of the business is that they are actually going to sell materials to the owners of Carvey, pre-cut materials that are basically almost exactly the sizes as you order them. So for example, here this thing is 0.49 inches, half an inch thick. Now you can of course cut your own materials, but you can also buy them from Carvey. I think the pricing that they have for their materials is a little high, it's about four to five dollars for a sheet of these. So if you're buying this and you're gonna make a lot of a lot of things on the Carvey, you might wanna go to Home Depot, buy your own materials and cut them to size and just make sure you measure them. Now the thing that makes it simple to use is really down to the software. Inventables has a piece of web software called Easel, and that way you can run it in any web browser. And in Easel, uh, when connected to a USB from your computer to the machine, you can do basically all of your design on the Carvey right in here. You can load in your vector files. They have presets for shapes and text. You can type it in, let the software know what material you're using, how thick of a material, what bit you're using, and even directly import G code. One of the concerns I had with Carvey was that you they would only be able to do basically two and a half D cuts. You're only basically cutting something um, so far so deep, and you're not really getting true 3D objects. But examples that Inventable sent over include things like this. Now this is truly impressive. This takes many, many, many hours to cut, but you can design something in a piece of CAD software, import the G code, and it'll actually recognize
APIs, even with F SVG files, vector files, color gradients, so you can have up to 255, 256 degrees of depth for something like this to cut truly 3D shapes. So the best way I think to show you how Carvey works is to show you Carvey working. And what I've done here is loaded up uh, as a very basic design in the easel software, just a little piece of text. And then in the software, you can let it know, the machine know what material you're using, how thick that material is, and what bit size you're using. The amount of options you have with the Carvey in setting up your cut is, is actually pretty good. Uh, you can set the cut depth for each pass, the cut depth for each of your designs. And then if you're cutting something completely out of a sheet of material, you can actually add tabs to the edge of the cuts so it doesn't pop out of the material and ruin your cut by the end of it. Uh, so I have it all set up and all I'm gonna do is press carve. It'll run you through a very simple uh, wizard to make sure all of your settings are correct. Make sure you've measured the material. Confirm, make sure I've positioned the material in the right place. Confirm, I've secured the smart clamp, which is in the bottom corner. Confirm, and I've chosen the right bit, and then I'm gonna start carving. So there you have it, that was so simple. So let me run through you exactly what happened after I pressed the carve button. Uh, what's really cool about the technology here is it's self calibrating. So the bit, when it starts, goes to the smart clamp. And what it does is it calibrates, it hits the sensor at the top of the clamp, which lets the machine know how high the material is. Um, and as long as it's clamped securely, uh, it's gonna always cut in the right place. Um, and then it was actually really quiet as I was using it. And that's one of the benefits of it being a self enclosed system. Inventables designed this with the intent that you'd be able to run a Carvey while being on a phone call. And that's something I've actually done, been on conference calls while the Carvey's running. Um, and then because I only set this to go two passes, it's very simple engraving. Uh, the whole thing took only about a couple minutes and I can pop this material out. Now you'll also notice there's a lot of just a little of dust and debris in the inside of the machine. And so you're gonna, if you're gonna use a machine like this, you're gonna need a vac. Um, it is self-contained, so it's not as messy as something like an X-Carve or an open CNC machine, uh, but there are trade-offs. This is self-enclosed, it's quieter, but the, the build area, the cut area is much smaller. So I really think the Carvey is gonna be a machine for prop builders and builders if they have specific things in mind that fit the constraints of the machine, the build size, the material thickness, and the material availability. If you wanna build more complex objects like uh, bigger props, um, and you have the space for it, a machine like the X-Carve may be more up your alley. Uh, this is the Carvey, it's out now, and we've been having a lot of fun of it, and it's been tested. So we'll have more videos on the site, cool CNC machines like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But until then, see you next time.